Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so tonight there's this Grunfeld tournament that I want to join, and uh, I have a message from a friend. Okay, <laughs> there's a friend only chess wanting to play with me. Um, yeah, but I wanted to play this tournament. This is a Grunfeld defense rapid arena. It's going to take two hours. Uh, it's going to start in 10 minutes from now. So I'm going to join. And hopefully we can learn something about the Grunfeld. Two hours is a long time to learn stuff. Um, now, regarding my friend, what could I? Challenge him. Well, he's playing a game now. Okay, he's playing against someone else. So, I don't know. I'm gonna play like a couple of games before the tournament starts. Uh, maybe not bullet. Maybe blitz. The tournament is rapid, but I cannot play. I don't have time to play rapid before it starts. Uh, okay, let's start with this bullet. 30 seconds game. Wow, 10 10 is my score against this guy. Okay, oh, my mouse. Okay, I'm too slow for this. I'm too slow for this. I'm gonna lose some time. Oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> Holy! Not good. No! And I won on time. Okay, not the kind of chess I should be playing now. Um, Jackie shows, why are you always in stream when I'm not at home? Well, because it is when I am at home. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. So, you you need to tell me your your schedule <laughs> so that I so that I schedule my streams. Uh, hey, Vialatic. Thank you. Your favorite chess streamer. Thank you. Um, okay, let's play something a little bit slower. 3 plus 1 is okay. Uh, okay, this is okay. 45 seconds plus 4. My favorite part of Pepe's stream is when his beard rubs against his mic and you get a constant background rustling. Oh, does that happen? I didn't know. <laughs> Okay, Jackie, see you later. I'm gonna be streaming for like two hours because I'm gonna play this tournament. It takes two hours. Binge? What does the word binge mean? I don't know that word. I'm on a real chess binge. Um, I'm gonna castle. So this is an isolated pawn. As long as I keep it, uh, as long as I prevent that pawn from pushing, I should be fine. But I don't want to take here, which is 
Uh, an easy way to stop it from advancing. Okay, I, I guess I cannot stop it, so... I'll be doing different... other different ideas. An act of excessive of or compulsive consumption. Okay, good to know. I'm learning. I'm learning words. <laughs> An unrestrained and often excessive indulgence. I'm gonna take here. Just to open up this king. Ah, maybe he takes the on, on b5 instead. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about that. So this is hanging and this is hanging. Let's see. c4 defends both, but I probably don't want to do that. c4 takes a4 is one possibility. This is pinned, so I should be careful. should be careful with the time also. Darn. I don't like this. I'm gonna be a pawn down, but at least the bishop on c3 is a little bit better than where it was. Okay, let's unpin to be able to take with the knight. Now bishop g6, queen c1. The knight wants to go there, so probably knight b4 is a move. Yeah, knight b4 seems like a good move. Um, okay, now this is weak also. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my play is a little bit suspicious in this game. But maybe I can fight back. Uh -huh. Okay, this starts to be very dangerous for me, this position. This is very weak now. I have to be careful with moves like queen b6. Because if queen d2, there's rook e2. Oh, darn. He saw. And bishop e1 is a terrible move to do. So we'll probably give up this pawn. But... Oof, it's gonna be dangerous. King h1 or king h2? I guess king h1 seems the move. <laughs> Connected rooks. Okay, no more possibility to, to connect rooks. Uh, that was a strange move, but maybe it's not that bad. Uh, I need to do something. Let's do this. I want to attack this guy somehow because it's disconnected from the queen now. So knight g4 is my idea. Of course, he cannot take here because of the mate. And now, let's try knight g4. If he takes on f3, uh, that's bad for me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then let's be able to at least take with the knight. And time is an issue. Oh, didn't see that one. Coming knight... No, knight g3. Oh, darn. I'm lost, guys. I'm in a losing position now. f6 wins. I think everything wins for, for black now. That also wins. Yeah, knight g3, I have to take with the queen. I could resign, yes, I know. Yeah, a4. I, I don't know why I didn't I do a4 when I said I was going to do it.
yeah the pawn c4 can move up yeah okay and the tournament started guys the tourney has just started is this checkmate? it is did we lose round one? no this is not round one this is the game before the tournament starts Queen b5 winning the rook. This with unstoppable checkmate. Where's the stalemate when you need it? Right. Yeah, but well, the other is mating one, so good game, Benjamin. Okay, that was the warm up for the tournament. <laughs> How big is the rating difference between you and your biggest wing? Well, I once play, played against a uh, 1000 rated guy, but I guess you mean stronger than me. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. So queen b3 was played. Why not taking here? That's, that's the first line I'm going to try in this position. Hey, Cuartillo. How you doing, buddy? So I think the strongest guy I, I defeated once, and it was in an over-the-board game, uh, he was uh, uh, more or less 2600, 25 something, 2580 maybe. I know he was very high, uh, 2500, so maybe 2580 or something like that. He was a GM, of course. But it was a blitz game, so doesn't really count a lot. In classical chess, my the strongest guy I defeated is an international master. So I can't remember his rating. There, there were a couple of them. So the highest rated, I think it was a 2300. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Position feels so good for white. White has a lot of space. There's no c5 break. Maybe I should go for the e5 break. Yeah, the e5 break makes some sense. Your strongest wing is 1700 in blitz. Well, in on, online, like on Lee Chess, I defeated several strong guys. I, I guess my, in my profile, I, I can see <laughs> which one was the strongest. I think it, it tells it. I defeated Lance, this guy that makes a lot of uh, simuls, but of course I defeated him in a simul, so <laughs> I think that shouldn't count either. Okay, now I really like my chances against this pawn. I just need to 
to build a good setup now. I already have the knight here, which is nice. I think I need to bring rooks to the d file, but first I'm gonna put one here. It only counts if it's rated. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then Lance is not the one. Uh, but I defeated Astane once. And it was rated, but it was a one minute game. So. Yeah, I don't know. I guess my profile only chess can tell me which was the, the strongest guy I, I defeated on leeches and which was the, the, the weakest guy who I lost to for now okay three minutes left uh, how can I see this that must be to, to see that in my profile how do you see that in chess insights or what? This is the activity. The, the, I, I know there was an option to, to, to see that, but I can't remember where it, where it is. Here? No. Okay, let's continue with the game. Ah, I need to pick a format. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. So ultra bullet doesn't count, I would say. Uh, in bullet, I defeated Ganicus, 2600. Moose Malloy, 2600. Little Plot King, 2600. And 2500 the other time. Happy Jedi, 2500. Okay, we can have a look at those after, <laughs> after the game or after the tournament because otherwise I'm gonna lose some time uh, what to do, knight b3, okay let's do nothing but yeah that was bullet and in bullet you know you, you, you win a lot you, you can win uh, against uh, you know you can win on time basically you can flag people even even when they are too strong so in this game I'm doing nothing, absolutely nothing. And I think I have a good endgame because of this pawn. So, so far so good. I think I have a, a little advantage in this position. Now I cannot allow that pawn to reach uh, the e5 square. Your best blitz win streak is 66 games if you say so <laughs> I guess but you know there's some days I I just don't want to you know when you play like you are tired and you just want to play chess without thinking then I pick um, only lower rated opponents then you can have a good streak but that doesn't mean anything Okay, my, my, my next move is this one, bishop e6, and control this pawn. And that pawn is going to be weak for the rest of the game. Probably I need to trade some... And please don't quote me, but probably I need to trade some minors. <laughs> and, and then bring the king to the center. I am Pepe, Pepe the Frog, yes I am. Okay, the only problem in this game, well, position material is equal, but I think I have a good endgame. But the only problem is time. So there's no increment, I should start playing faster. 
And okay, for the moment I, I think I have a good position. I'm not gonna trade pawns. I'm going to block, bring the bishop back. Maybe... Is that the one I should trade? Probably. Probably. Also that one. I had knight f5 check, I, I didn't realize I was already winning the pawn. Yeah, now I see. Yeah, that was very stupid. Bishop e6. Anyway, okay. Check. Take. King up. And now you can see these pawns in dark squares are, you know, this endgame is terrible for him. This is a typical good bishop versus bad bishop. You see all of my pawns, all of his pawns, and it's going to be really painful for for white to hold this position. He should suck a pawn here. Yeah, but how? <laughs> He's very blocked. It, it's not easy for him. The alternative to this was also bad, because then if if, ta if he takes with one pawn, I have a passer. If he takes with the other, I go after that. And now, look at these guys. And I'm going to break here also, to have another target here. The more targets I have, the easier it's going to be for me to start attacking all of them and and eventually my bishop will collect some. Okay. Now the bishop is gonna be in Suxon after this move. Or he can blunder that. But of course the, the good move was to take with the pawn and then bishop e7 and the bishop is in Suxon so the king has to move. But yeah, now it's easier because he blundered the pawn. Okay. Now this is going to run. So the king is going to go and run also. Trying to calculate. Let's wait for a move. There you go. I expected that. Now let's run. Now this is easy. Has to be. So I'm gonna defend, bring the king here and push. Simple plan. He can try to collect this guy and defend this, but this is... <laughs> hey, my sick duck. What's up? Oh, king there. Okay. This seems easy now. It was already easy. No sucks on no no stalemate, I mean. Good. I want to be an expert in the Grunfeld after watching this stream. Yeah, that's probably what you're going to get. Absolutely. So far, we learned that we can take on c4. It wasn't that bad in this game. Now I'm, I'm playing with, with white. Let's assume he's going to take. And let's learn. If he does not take, I'm gonna copy. So he plays c6. So next game with black, I'm gonna try c6. And we'll see. 
Yeah, CD, yeah, as you see, Violatic, that's the main idea of the Grunfeld. But now that he defended with the C pawn, I'm not, I'm not gonna take on D5. Yeah, actually, the Queen B3 line, I'm not familiar with. It feels odd to allow Black to defend with the pawn, with a pawn on D5. But okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna take it. So, bah, I can, I can, I can do this also. The three main lines, Knight f3 and then Queen b3. Yeah, but in this in this uh, tournament we're starting out from the position with already Queen b3 already played. So, what did I take now? Ah. Do with the knight. That's a little bit strange because this pawn is weak. Okay, you play knight f3 and knight f3, bishop g7, queen b3, queen b3 after knight f3, bishop g7. Okay. So if I play e4, he trades, and then c5 is a problem, as in the main Grunfeld lines. Cd, knight takes d5, knight a4, just because it looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now the main lines go with, with cd, knight takes d, and e4. But in this specific tournament, we start out with a position that allows c6, as my opponent did. And then, if I take on d5, he can take with a pawn, which makes logical sense. But in this case, my opponent didn't take with the pawn, so it's a little bit strange. I can maybe do this. Ah, let's let's double on the on the open file. Hmm. Yeah, good one. Huh. What do you think of reassess your chest by I am Jeremy Stillman? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, what I think is that I don't know that book. That's what I think. Can I try this? Okay, um, darn. Okay, I'm gonna do this and queen c3 in the end of the line. So knight takes e4, bishop takes, bishop takes e5, pawn takes, c5, then queen c3 to defend e5. And ah no, c5 is not possible here. What am I saying? Okay, so this position is not so bad for me. What would you what what would uh, would you recommend then? It it depends a lot on, on your uh, goals in chess and uh, your interests and yeah it's it's hard to recommend one single book <laughs> have you read the inner game of tennis nope the ultimate guide to okay can i try this the uh, ultimate guide to the mental side of peak performance
only 100 pages and it talks about psychology right psychology and coaching my system yeah my system is not a bad book don't tell Yasser though so Rook D8 he's trying to do yeah of course so whose king is safer position seems more or less equal I'm a little bit over expanded but this queen's oh oh that's an interesting choice I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trade I think his king is still weaker than mine so I don't mind trading this for this aren't you an old pawn grabber yes I am <sighs> but I'm losing a pawn here on b2 and f2 oh man okay let's these two pawns here defend a lot you know like preventing checks could have gotten a rook to d6 no i think i didn't because the bishop was hanging on e4 so after the trade i think i couldn't but maybe you're right uh, now i'm a little bit down on time have to be very careful yeah i thought this check would work but it doesn't because of f6 f6 is the move now no no f6 okay then i, I have a shot Do you think being a pawn grabber is good chess skill or it's a style? Well, it's definitely a style. Can we get four queens on the board? Or should I just take the pawn? I guess I should just take the pawn. Well, it's a little bit of both. It's a uh, style and it's also a skill because sometimes you need to know which pawns you can grab and which pawns you cannot grab. Um, here, taking seems risky, right? I sh should not take. Ooh. Uh, I, I, I more or less blundered. <laughs> with my pre-move it wasn't a pre-move on the board but it was in my mind so I did the move without thinking okay guys I need to I, I'm, I'm losing here I need to, to come up with something really really fast also the time is not helping Queen c3 no no. Uh, what was that? Okay, that was a little bit stupid from both of us. Maybe I have the draw here. Maybe I don't. Queen g6 is a good move. Thirty seconds left. No. I'm lost, guys. Now queen f5 and I resign. No queen f5. Okay. Uh, still I resign. <laughs> Because this check he goes to h7. And that's good enough. There's not even a chance for a state. Oh, this is mate. Wow, my, my opponent played really great. Oh. <laughs> he played really good chess, but uh, now. 
he didn't see a mating one. Okay, he goes for the queen trade. That's mean. Yeah, he played very well. He played very well and I played not very well. Probably I should start thinking the games instead of what I'm doing. Let me pause for a second. I'm going to grab some some water. <laughs> okay, I like that idea without the Spanish flag, I I think. But I, I definitely like that idea <laughs> for the emote. Okay, let's try c6 now. And my opponent takes, so I will take with the pawn, just to to see. Oh, that's an interesting move. It's putting pressure here. Not easy to to cope with it. May I have this check? I mean, this uh, ping. He takes on f6. What else? Ninety four doesn't quite work. Bishop e6. And what about giving up a pawn? Can I regain it on d4? Oh, this is already an interesting position. Now, bishop e6 is a move, but I'm not sure if I like it. Yeah, I think I like this idea, but I, <laughs> I need to to speed up a little. No, ah, that's boring now. He he didn't take, he didn't enter the complications. Well, maybe this is not so bad for him. We should be five short castles. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, bishop, bishop g7 cannot be a bad move. Maybe it's not the best, but it cannot be bad to develop castle fast and and what is he trying to do? <laughs> I mean, I wanted to castle and <laughs> this only threatens something that with castling uh, is okay now. Ah, now this position feels great for me. This feels great. Everything is working out very well now. Even okay, rook b8 is a, sac a suspicious sacrifice, but I mean, the king has to move, and now here is a move. What else? The ping is. A oh! Knight takes okay, he went to d1. Yeah, king e2 was, was necessary then. And collecting material. Uh, huh. This can't be worse for black. <laughs> what? For black? 
this can't be worse for white. I'm I'm a full rook up now. Oh, he blocked the he blocked the the, the bishop. He blocked the bishop. So so I'm going to to enter here. Ugh. Holy. Okay, okay, okay. Where is the Yeah, I was a mate in one. I should have seen it. Faster. King h8? No, there was no need to, to play King h8. Yeah, Hashu. That was a little bit suspicious play by White in, in that game. Taking on b7 with the queen, a little bit risky. With the king still in the center. So what we learned from this game is giving up pawns with black is good as as long as uh, we castle fast. I guess bishop e6 is a move here. E4 probably my my. More ambitious follow up here and get the, the best development I can for my pieces. Yeah, at some point d4 might be weak, so now defending it is good. h4, yeah, that's definitely an idea. I'm gonna put this here to force h6. If uh, if black does not play h6, uh, then the, the queen has to move, I think, e5 is a threat, so... <laughs> May I can castle long now. Grunfeld unbeatable. We'll see. We'll see, for the moment it is. <laughs> I lost, I won two games with black and I lost one with white, so... For the moment... You are right. Okay, h6, as I expected. I'm gonna keep the ping. I think it's a good idea. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna cast a short. Let's not do fancy stuff yet. Okay, knight b6 maybe, but the knight is going to be terrible on b6 as long as my pawn keeps d5 protected. And uh, yeah, my follow up is castles. I don't see any problems in going immediately knight e5 or, or, or bishop d6 and etc. But I think castling first should be right to, to be careful. I don't want to do fancy stuff with my king in the center. We saw in the previous game that's that can end very badly for for white. Okay, so now maybe I can play the ah he has a root to d5. Okay. So let's not do it yet. If queen a3 I have b5. Ah no, I don't. The bishop is undefended. What am I saying? Um Okay, okay. I guess I'm gonna do this, and I, I'm not scared of this because I'm gonna have knight e4 for my own knight. So queen b3, and maybe I trade on d5. Maybe I don't. Okay, that's a move I didn't see coming, and it's a little bit problematic. I guess I take with the rook. To have now the flexibility to, to take or not. Um, so if I take, if he takes with this pawn, the bishop is going to be happy. So if I don't take, he might go here. 
Huh. But this also prevents f5, which I'm not sure if it's a possibility. Okay, let's... Because I didn't play h3 yet, I'm gonna allow knight, knight f4. And someone is talking to me in the telegram. Uh, B6, okay. This is weak now. Let's go there. This way knight f4 does not hit a rook. And uh, p -p 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 this. Okay. Uh, wow, it would be nice to bring the knight to d6, but I cannot. Because d4 is not so weak. Maybe I need to play h3 anyway. Is g4 a problem? I don't think so. Uh, Carreta Furasao says I hit the Grunfeld. I play those f3 side lines and die all the time. <laughs> Try another another line. <laughs> Boris Abruk, world class theoretician, plays it and he wrote two books on it. Must be unbeatable. Yeah, I, th I guess any. any um, theoretician, I mean, any opening can be unbeatable if, if you practice it enough. Um, ah, f5 might have been his idea with bishop f8. I didn't understand bishop f8 because of course I regained with an eye, but maybe f5 was, was the idea. <laughs> but you play the same issue, okay. I noticed when I watch you and Eric Rosen, you are always behind on time. Well, in this game I'm behind on time because I berserked. Uh, Rosen is streaming also. Is he playing this tournament? I guess he's not because he's not in the top. But he's also streaming. I, I, I noticed. Okay, what was that? Let's do something with this knight. So I, with g3 I prevent the knight f4. I just need to be careful in all kinds of endgames with this bishop here. Um, so maybe a5 is one idea to be able to move this bishop out. f5 when? Whenever. He can try f5 because if I take on f6 and pass on, then this bishop is going to be weak. For, and also now the knight on a, oof, this is too complicated already. Can I just take here? Is he losing a pawn? I think he is. Yeah, I didn't understand c5. Fortunately, I defended the knight, otherwise f5 could be an interesting idea to attack my knight. <sighs> His stream ended. Ah, okay. So, can I keep trading stuff? I'm a pawn up. I want to move this bishop, but I cannot. Maybe c6. c6 can be annoying, right? No easy way to attack it more. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna go there. He has to take with the rook. My knight can land on b5 eventually. Maybe now. Maybe I bring the other knight first. No, maybe now. Yeah, now. Now that he can take. Rook e7 maybe to keep this guy defended. And then c7 maybe. Oh, this feels great. Any opening is unbeatable if you practice it enough. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quotable, right? Okay, so he's sacrificing the exchange. I'm gonna take it. Uh, I'm not gonna hesitate on that. And I'm gonna bring the other knight. 
Now rook c8 I'm expecting. But then knight d6 anyway. Yeah, so... Is he gonna sacrifice two exchanges? I would love to see that. I guess bishop f8 makes sense. But my knight goes to b5. Hey, Eric is raiding. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this position is so great. Uh, how how can I convert? Can I like do this? So he prevented knight b5. Uh huh. No, I cannot. I don't know. Let's gamble a little. Um, hello, Rose and Fox. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, Violatic, I think we all can add quotes. I'm not sure, but I think everyone can use the commands there. Okay, I'm still defending c6 because of the check. Uh, need to be careful with the time. Ray Clay and Nathan, Nathan F314 and Ray Clay2 had followed. Thank you guys. So, can I use the ping? Can I take, I mean, on f6 with the queen and then allow bishop take c6? Yes, I can because of rook b to c2. Uh, thank you guys for the follows. Hope you like the stream. Um, so, he's not gonna take, I, I, I guess I just double the rooks and or can I attack a6 maybe I can just attack a6 if b5 I take twice uh, thank you Ray Clay actually if he does not take uh, queen d3 threatens mate and the pawn a6 if he takes on f6 and I take back yeah maybe I don't like that Okay, let's double rooks first and not lose a lot of time that I don't have. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, d4 is going to be hanging. Yeah, let's go with this. And eventually I'm going to try to attack the h6 pawn. Okay, I don't think this is the best conversion ever. <laughs> but I need to play fast. Now, that bishop is not good. Rook d8, I only see. And now let's keep the position and, and, and try to find a plan. Maybe just attack the b6 pawn. Yeah, the bishop has no moves. So if bishop takes c6, I guess I go back to c1 and and eventually win the bishop. Or maybe rook d6 is good then. Okay, he's just defending. Can I go here? Now, if he takes on a5, rook b7 is funny, but I guess... No, I will take on b8. I will... Oh, okay. Queen b7, I missed. Okay. Yeah, I missed that move. This is still fine. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, wow, I'm losing the f4 pawn. What am I doing? Ah, no, I'm not. f7 is hanging. What am I saying? Okay, I'm making it uh, hard for me, or maybe just b7 rook c8 was easy. Yeah, let's try it now. Mm. 
I mean the rook should win against the bishop. Now rook takes b7 only move. I'm gonna go all in the dark squares so that his bishop is doing nothing. Time is not on my side. No, it's not. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I guess I can win taking on g2, but uh, not now. Time is a bitch. No! Zero point three, and I won on time. <laughs> hey, you could add the quote, right? Or no? Ah, no, it it it, it didn't add. Darn. Let's see if I do it. I'm gonna copy your message. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oof. Oof. That was close. Hey, why did why did I take? Why didn't I play c6? Ah, I'm changing my. <laughs> I thought I was learning something. Now e4, of course. Finally, wins games when rows and viewers are here. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, c6 now it's a little bit sad. So let's go. <laughs> let's allow d5 and then go back. Um, yeah, knight c6 has to be tricky. I just need to find a way. Bishop b6 probably not good in this position. Yeah, probably. A little bit risky. Okay, bishop e3, I guess, is normal. Bishop e3, then I can try to sacrifice a pawn with bishop takes f3 and e5, d5, knight e4. Ah, in that case, I take here. How, how is this? He has to take on c6, I take here. Oh, okay, at least the position is funny. Rook g1, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why, why is he thinking. I mean, I don't see any other move. I am the one who has to be thinking here because I don't know what to do with the bishop then. Bishop h3 or bishop f3? No way. That's what what he was thinking. Okay, let's let's go there. Hey, main sequence hosting also. Thank you. Okay, I'm a pawn up. He can if he takes on c7, I can take on e4. So I, I think I keep the pawn. Um, let's go c5 now, or c, c5. Yes. If he castles, I have a problem with this or not? I guess I do. Okay, 
let's save it for now. No, e4 is is defended. e4 is defended a lot. I cannot take it that easily. And now it's even more defended. So I guess I need to start to worry about this pawn. Although, honestly, if I have... If, if the c file gets opened, I, I have very good chances to attack. So bishop g3 I'm expecting, or bishop b3 going after the pawn. But yeah, bishop g3 is normal, because if I take, then the structure is fixed a little for white. Okay, went for that. Interesting. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna put the rook here, cannot be bad. Oh, I'm seeing this now. And uh, yeah, I guess queen b7 is still fine. He can take, of course he can. But <laughs> uh, it's risky. If he takes, I think I cannot go here because 97 check, but now I can go here. So why didn't I have what what it takes to take on c5? That's good. Knight c3 maybe. Knight f4 is another option. Ah, knight c3 I can take and take on e4. Because then there's no good discoveries. Should I do that? I'm a pawn grabber, so taking a second pawn. C5 is going to be lost, so it's like taking one pawn. So takes, takes, takes. Da 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 da. Bishop d2. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I don't mind giving up the bishop there. Oh, bishop h6. I missed. Oh 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 oh. Then I'm losing. Ah no, I have queen d4. Yeah, I'm I'm being lucky here. <laughs> I totally missed. I'm missing a lot of stuff. So I missed bishop h6, but I have queen d4, and I missed that my knight is defending g7, so I missed that I'm totally safe. Yeah, I'm lucky. Um, what? Okay, didn't take. Interesting. But I can go here. I definitely cannot allow him to take on h5 there. That's how you play every game. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm two pawns up, although c5 is going to be lost. But I don't feel really comfortable about this position. I think the bishop pair is definitely a good asset for white, especially this dark square bishop. So as long as it takes, I'm gonna keep the knight defending here. I think it's important. Now if the bishop takes here, uh, that's more or less expected. I have queen f4 to take here. If the bishop goes here, there's no checkmate threat, so I go to d4. If this bishop goes here, I go to b4 with the queen. Okay, I expected that, more or less. Now this bishop is hanging, so it has to go back. Should I take on h2? Yeah, why not? Keep the two pawns up. Why not? I'm a pawn grabber. Yeah, okay. Let's go grab some pawns, some more pawns. Well, this feels too dangerous, because if I take on a2, he can even try some uh, ideas already with my back back rank, like bishop d4 now, and if I take on a2, he takes here, and there's queen c8 ideas. Do you study middle games? <laughs> yeah. I try. I try to analyze my games. I think that's the most I study from for what middle games is concerned. What should I do? A Pino 74 has followed, thank you. Well, I'm a pawn grabber, so let me calculate. Rook a2, bishop e6, queen c8, 
queen f4 check. If king b1, I guess I have issues. But if I start with queen f4, queen f4, bishop b3, I'm not taking that pawn, never, ever. Okay, rook a2, bishop b6. Oh! Ah, queen d7, queen d7. Takes, takes, takes. He has the perpetual at least, maybe more. Yeah, actually he has more. Okay, so if bishop e6, um, basically in, in trouble. But after queen f4, if king b1, rook goes back. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I think it's very risky, but uh, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> no, no. Well, how did that? How did that happen? So even here, my bishop was hanging all the time, and I didn't see it hanging. Oh no. Oh no, guys, that was terrible. Okay, then I, I need to go for the draw now. I'm gonna trade queens because I think otherwise I'm checkmated probably. Oh, this is bad now. What a blunder. Walberto well, Flores has followed. Thank you. So I have some a couple of pawns for the bishop. But uh, yeah, of course this position is terrible. My rook is on the 7th. That's my best asset. Yeah, expected that. So rook d2... Yeah. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. May I can go h6, g5, h6, king, h7, g5. It's not giving me time though. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to blunder more. Okay, change of plans. If rook h2, I have knight e1. So my knight is still not trapped. Oh, yes, it is trapped. The bishop can take it. My knight is trapped. So, so this is not good. I have a challenge. <laughs> okay, no challenges now. I'm playing a tournament, guys. I'm gonna reject it. Uh, thank you, Tamali, for the challenge, but I, I'm playing this tournament. Um, b -b 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 Twenty-nine seconds left. Yeah, bishop e5, I take on f2, broken. I might still lose, but I have f6 to have some to make some loot for the king. If rook c1, let's say I, I have this, and hopefully I don't get checkmated. Maybe I, I do get it. I do get checkmated, but I'm fighting. Fighting for my life. Oh, this this check I didn't see if I go to h6, but I have g5. Okay, g6 is hanging. Probably taking it is the best, but yeah, f6 is hanging now. <laughs> this is not good.
gonna lose at least another pawn. But uh, we all know I'm gonna lose on time, right? No! That's a check. Okay, I tried my best. <laughs> Darn. Well, at, le at least I lost one with black. So we cannot uh, keep saying that the Grunfeld is unbeatable. <laughs> Maybe I could be trickier than, than what I was. Anyway, hanging the bishop on f3, that was terrible. Oh, Nostalgia for wine is a very strong player. Uh, he's berserking. Uh, let's see how does this go. Knight f3 makes sense. Uh, bishop out makes sense. e3 makes sense. I could have taken f6. What was that an idea? Let's play a4. And let's take now and take on d5. Or is this an inter a good intermediate? I can take on e7, right? So I'm a pawn up here. Two pawns up now. Not the best structure ever, but two pawns are two pawns. So if bishop e6, d5, there's bishop takes c3. Uh, bishop e6, I take, take, take. Now if bishop e6, there's d5. Now it's different because the queen is no longer attacking d5, so bishop c3 does not help. <laughs> I can do this. It's funny. I think it is. I think it is a funny position. Maybe I do play f3 and castle. Or h3. Let's do f3, let's force the bishop to c8. Yeah, h3 maybe made more sense. And and I cannot... I, I really want to sacrifice there. Oh. I, I want it. I really want it. Okay, let's not do it for the moment. Rook b4. No! No. Okay, now I'm forced to sacrifice. I missed rook before. No. Rook a2, the worst move in the position. Rook c1 wins the rook, so rook takes queen, of course. Yeah. Darn. Oh no, that... <sighs> Let me resign. Oh. 
Rook A2. Had such a great position. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Albert. I mean, I ex I expect to lose against a 2400, but it's painful when you have a good position. And especially painful when I when I just um, commit suicide <laughs> over the board. Like, there was no need to do that. Okay, in the first game, I, th I, th I think sacrificing that pawn was good for me. So I'm going to repeat it. Um, I played like this, and I allowed to take on, on b7. It was the second game, it wasn't the first. And e3 was played and castles. And that was such a great position for me, so I'm going to repeat the idea. Exactly, e3. So now b2 might be hanging at some point, although my opponent did go bishop f4 in this position to prevent it, but I went... Uh, what? Check. That was strange. So now against knight c3, probably go rook b8, because knight e4 is good, nothing wrong with it. Bishop takes c7, knight takes c3, probably good. But I think this is awesome. <laughs> I think this is awesome. Queen c6 only move. Ah, queen a6 is possible. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's possible. Makes more sense, I think. Thanks, Neomatic. So, queen a6, I, 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 I guess I want to keep queens. What? <laughs> okay, didn't see that coming. So if I attack the knight, uh, queen must go to c7 or c6, then I have rook c8. So, okay, maybe knight, knight b1 or knight, knight b5 only moves. Knight b5 allows queen takes before check, so knight b1 only move. If that's the only move, to preserve the material, then ah maybe knight b5 now. Rook here, knight b5, queen takes b4 check. So my only doubt is to do with this rook or with the other. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. There's no need to not regain on c8 when he takes. So it doesn't make a difference whether it's check or not. Um, <coughs> yeah, rook takes was also good because he defended my queen. And now I guess this, it, it's a good moment to do this. Um, queen d1 maybe. Ah, knight f3. Yeah, knight f3 makes more sense to defend the bishop. Rook takes b4, rook b4. Oh, this is terrible for white. Okay, that's easy. That was the easiest. Okay, 47 minutes left and uh, place number 7 four points behind the podium so I can I can still fight position number seven out of 199 players I'm not a big Grunfeld expert Okay, Victor nine, 1979 is Berserking, so should I? Just need more fizzy water. Yeah, I think I think that's true. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, <laughs> I was I was like waiting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, Bishop F4. That's new. 
Let's go here, E3 I expect. Let's do some trades. There is there is a streamer named Nicholas Stays. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I have one sneaky idea against Knight takes e4. Maybe it does not work. No, it does not work. But it's sneaky. So if he goes back, my idea is to play g5. It is sneaky, right? He, he will take on, on h5, but at least if I can take his bishop... Okay, he's not gonna take on h5 now. Nicholas says, he has been standing in the Grunfeld on stream a lot. He almost just went live. I was going to tell him about you. <laughs> oh! Nice sacrifice there. I'm gonna take it. You must take the sacrifices. Okay, guys, let's do this. I, I, I'm realizing d5 was possible. Ouch! No! I missed that move. So I'm losing a piece here. No, I cannot even save it with this. I cannot even save it. Darn. But I have to. I have to do this. Okay, so I gave the, the piece back. But I sort of prevented losing on the spot. But I'm two pawns down now. Yeah, that wasn't good. Okay. I guess this is good for his knight. Okay, it's just two pawns. It's just two pawns. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, I'm gonna keep fighting against the d5 idea. I think he's gonna try and do it. Or that. We're playing too fast, right? We shouldn't play that fast. <laughs> Me and Nicholas studying the groom food. Okay, that's definitely an idea. Uh, as I'm, as I said, I'm not an expert, and yeah, not probably don't don't want to be also. So e5 96 check. Where do I go? Here he takes with the knight. Six check go back, rook h6. Yeah, rook h6 is a problem. Or not. Takes, takes. I mean, trading pawns makes a lot of sense. Ah, this allows d5? No. 96 check in g8, d5. Okay, then let's take. Still two pawns down. Not good. Is he gonna play b4? Okay, so far my rook and my bishop are putting pressure here so that this structure cannot move. This structure. But at some point, <laughs> it's 
it's going to be a problem. Okay, the knight is pinned, so I'm I'm going to take a pawn there. I'm taking one pawn back. Or repeating. I don't mind repeating. Let's take the pawn back. Okay, just one pawn down now. He's cutting my king. That's good by him. There you go. Oh, we have a spammer in the chat. <laughs> Good job, Rogan. I, I will look for uh, that uh, Nicholas. Nicholas Thais. Nicholas Thais. I will have a look. How can I save this game? Not like this. No, not that. Or maybe yes, maybe I can still sacrifice my rook for the pawn, right? Rook versus Queen, not good. Is this still a draw? Is this still a draw? I think it is. I think I can do it, guys. Hey, Tactical Genius. What's up? It's just 10 seconds left, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably lose some time, but it's nice to have saved this game. I should go for the draw instead of... Yeah, now it's a draw. Instead of trying to win Queen versus Rook with 5 seconds, right? <laughs> the great man Todd has followed and Peter Jew has followed. Thank you, guys. Okay, it was interesting because I thought I was losing for a moment. Yeah, this was critical because I took on b3 thinking that I can go back here and then rookie 1 happened and I, I thought I was losing, but I'm not because of this pin. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Not so chess has followed, thank you. Beast Green says, do you still play Grunfeld? Well, I'm playing this 
Grunfeld Defense Rapid Arena thematic tournament, so... <laughs> so yes, we're playing Grunfeld here. We have 36 minutes left of Grunfeld ahead. Uh, so I'm four points behind uh, third place. I need to... No, this guy, this guy defeated me once already. Is this the guy that took my bishop? I, I know it was painful, the loss against him in this tournament, but I cannot remember the game. Snop. Snop has followed, thank you. Yeah, bishop e6. Interesting. Let's go back. There's no knight before now with the knight on b6. This guy was the 1700 guy who beat us. Yes, exactly. But I can't remember the game. I, I remember he played very well, but I, I, did, I don't remember the specifics of the game. Maybe it was like this. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm not sure. Bishop e3, knight g4. Castles, takes, takes. It's not that terrible. It's probably better than taking on f6. Uh, also bishop c4. Well, he has some squares. Hmm. Anyway, let's allow it. If knight g4, I'm gonna castle. And if bishop c4, I'm going to play b3, I think. So yeah, my, my structure is not the best, but, but I have a good center. Yeah, bishop c4. Wow, he's seeing all the moves so far he beat you in a rook endgame, kind of a loss on time ah yeah he played very well the endgame that's not good news because I usually rely on on my endgames skills so I'm giving giving that huge square for him because I want this huge square for me is this the guy? Was this the game where where I had total control over the d6 square? Yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm missing mixing some games, uh, mixing them up. So queen e7 or queen c8 to defend both pawns. And what now? Rook c1 to control c3. Uh, f4 is possible, and if e4 knight e3 maybe. Yeah, that I'm not scared of because now this is weak. And I'm controlling f4. So now I will double on the c5 before it's controlled. So I, there's no knight before. I'm gonna double here. 59 spectators, you are famous. <laughs> no, it was uh, Eric Rosen raiding, raiding us. I'm gonna have more control of this, but also want to jump there someday. Maybe e4. Maybe e4 makes sense. Does it? I think it does. h5, by the way, I don't understand it a lot. I really like my control over the dark squares. The problem is he has a dark square bishop, so the moment the bishop activates... Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah, the moment the bishop activates, like bishop h6, I'm gonna have a hard time. So now let's defend d4 and start jumping with my knight, I think. This is a passer. Now, now this is already dangerous for, for the end games for him. That's just a passing move. Darn, that's a good move. Shit. Okay, now now his his bishop is 
threatening to start to play so it's gonna be hard I need to keep the e5 pawn alive <laughs> to be able to to survive this endgame because the bishop is clearly better than, than the knight can I sacrifice e5 makes it sense does it make sense takes takes I don't think it does. Turbaldeon has followed. Thank you, buddy. So I want to play king g2, h4, and etc. I think I still have the upper hand in this endgame. At least it's not a, a rook endgame. Like the one I lost against this guy already. You live in Spain? If you're talking to me, yes. Yeah, Quartillo was in the chat previously. Uh, he's not here anymore, I think. Um, the we, We're both very tired because yesterday we, we traveled to Madrid. So it was like five hours of train going there. A long meeting for the whole day there and then five hours back in train. So it was a really long day yesterday for both of us, for Quartillo and me. May I go queen d5 at some point, eventually? I believe in those two pawns. Maybe now it's the moment. Yeah, if he takes on a4, I will eventually hide from the checks on h3 and my queen on d6 Queen d6 check is already a huge threat, so queen takes f4, queen d6, queen f6, queen takes g6, should be good. So, okay, let's play this endgame. These pawns are great, controlling these breaks, so I'm gonna run. Yes, he's gonna have a pass pawn there, I need to be careful. I'm gonna threaten or not? No, let's go with the king first. I think it makes more sense. This pawn is really weak now. Has to be careful with that. My knight is defending both dark square pawns, that's good. Because now I'm really winning this pawn, right? Am I? G5 maybe? No, G5 doesn't work. G5 takes, H4 takes, takes, okay, I think, oh, that was nice, that was a nice trick. And that's a draw. This guy is good. I don't know why he's so lower rated. He's very good in endgames. Still trying to fight. I'm still trying to, to play for the win here. But now, of course, bishop g3 is good. Okay, no bishop g3. That's good for us, I guess. Or not. I don't have a plan, really. So check and back. I think I couldn't build the lucky thing. I, I I calculated it and I didn't see. I didn't see it clear. Still playing for the wing, which 
which probably leads to a loss. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna win on time. Yeah, I won on time. Yeah, the problem is if I take here, he goes here, so he's gonna take here. I take here, he takes here, and his king is very close. So the moment the king gets to f5 and I cannot prevent it, I'm losing the h4 pawn. There's no good route for my knight to to not lose the... Ah, you say sack the knight then. Yeah, so takes here and king c4. Yeah, I thought about it. But after king takes king d6. Ah, why didn't I calculate that more? Then g5. No, I didn't calculate that more. But I, I, I think... Yeah, I promote b... I promote first, but he promotes exactly after me. So yeah, it was probably a, a good way to push. Yeah. So I promote, he promotes, I check. The king goes in front of the queen. Probably if I trade queens, still a draw, but... Uh... Ah, he takes my pawn, so I can never win that. No, I can never win that, I think. Because after b4, if I push... Ah, he has to push. No, no, after I push, he takes on a5. And then I, the moment I promote, he promotes on a8. Next move. And I cannot win his queen. Can I? Ah, maybe I can. The king was on c6. So he cannot take on a5. He has to push b5. So then he promotes to b8. Check, check, I trade queens and I go for the A-Pong. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there was a win there. Yeah. I didn't see it. I mean, I cannot calculate everything. Uh, but good point there. But anyway, we... We won, I think. Yeah, we won. <laughs> That's the important thing. Ah, it's my turn again. I should stop playing c6. Okay, knight f3 seems normal. Bishop g7, bishop g5 maybe. Yeah, we've been here already. Is this a move? I need to go for more water. Ah. I'm gonna cast. Oh, I'm losing. Wait, 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 wait. If I castle, he takes on d5, I take, he takes with the knight or with the queen. He takes with the queen. Knight takes, 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 that's bad for me. Okay, all of this is probably bad for me. It's mating 26, that line. Okay. <laughs> for black, I expect. So let's bring the knight out. I'm gonna grab more water. E3, okay, I can castle. For white? I was black. <laughs> I was black in that game, I think. Uh, we should be two, okay. Maybe I was white. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay, knight b6.
I was white, okay. <laughs> See, I yeah, you're looking at my game. Yeah, so yeah, you probably know better. So if I take on a2 and b3 happens, do I have anything? I don't think so. So let's threaten the bishop. I have some knight b4 or queen a5 check. Queen a5 check. I'm just gambling, playing around here. Uh, I don't have any clear, concrete idea. But uh, I think this check is annoying. And I'm already castled, so playing around should be good. So if queen d2, I can take on a2, probably then castles. Rook a1 is a threat, but I can play like a6, and after rook a1, queen b3. If he plays knight d2, I can still take on a2 or play knight b4. Knight b4, interesting. Knight b4 takes, takes. Bishop f5, e4, knight b4, queen b1. That's annoying. I'm gonna do this. And if queen c3, I have c5. Instead of taking on a2, c5 a3 takes on d4, he takes on b4. No, that's not good. So let me take here first. And blunder my knight. <laughs> and I'm so deep this time of the day. Being so deep. Okay. Now, how to save this? Thanks, good to know. I can tell you I have the loss now. <laughs> I have the loss in this game. Uh, at least that game I had the win uh, and I won. <sighs> this is terrible. I'm a piece down and I have absolutely no compensation for it. Other than attacking queen, what did knight before do? Uh, exactly. Exactly. Nothing else. I mean, it was to, to have some tricks that were not there, actually. I would love to take on b2, but takes, 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 it's two bishops for, no, then I have the passers, no, it's not enough. It's not enough, but I, I don't see any other option. I don't see any other option. Yeah, I thought knight before was <laughs> clever, and it was clever, but like too much. It was like too much. Yeah, bishop g4 is probably great now. Bishop g4, and, and I basically resign. I push this, this bishop c4. Mm, yeah, bishop b3 is coming. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna lose that pawn, I don't mind. It was lost a long time ago already. 
if I want to save this game, it's not going to be <laughs> by saving the E6 pawn. Bishop e5 check, it's, nah, that's too fancy, then it's not working. So e5 check in g7, and if he allows g5, then I can, can go to g6. Maybe a2 is, is a threat, a2 rook b1, is that a threat? Then probably he has to move this bishop out to be able to play knight d3. Ah no, but it's not in time. So bishop a2 maybe. Bishop a2 is a is a move. I guess. And then e5 is not working because of knight d7 check. So he's thinking a lot, so maybe he's worried about a2, which is the only, the most active move I can do. But if if he's worried about it, yeah, then bishop a2 makes sense. Or rook a2, rook a2 maybe more sense. Ah, rook a2, rook b1 check, and b4. Yeah, now there's a little bit of compensation. Now it is, but still too far. Not like not a lot. Maybe rook c2 is an idea at some point if if he does not move these pieces. He's okay with rook a2. Yeah, absolutely. This I can try. What did I think here? I thought something. I think. Okay, let's put this here. Uh, I'm seeing knight d3 now. I missed ninety three. Okay, my idea was to play this and then bishop to have b three at some point. Anyway, ninety three I can I can take on it too, I guess. Uh huh. That prevents something and prepares something also. Uh, I need to do something. <laughs> That's true. And fast. I need to play something fast. Okay, rook b8 cannot be played. That's a pity. Oh, fast peppers. Oh shit! I tried. So, so I entered uh, Rosen's stream before when I entered Liches. I saw he was streaming, and I entered just for a minute. And someone asked. Uh, for recommendations for his next tournament, which was going to be the first. And Rosen said something I, I fully agree with, which is uh, sleep and uh, diet and, you know, be healthy. That's the main thing, especially if you don't have time, a lot of time to prepare. And I can tell you, it's not a good idea to play chess when you're very, very tired. 
it's really painful and it's what I'm doing now I should probably be sleeping well you know it's been two days without the streaming and I have I wanted to do it um, Yeah, exactly. Sleep, diet, water make more difference than practicing lines the week before an event. That's absolutely true. It makes the, the whole difference. Sometimes I prepare a lot, like, you know, prepare lines against some guy, and I actually get my preparation over the board, but then I, I'm too tired and I, I collapse in the endgame like I'm too tired I cannot calculate any, any anything else in the endgame and uh, some other times I, I have these games with no preparation at all but I slept well I'm in the mood to calculate a lot over the board and that's more efficient that's more pr productive because the study studying lines and so i think it's something you you get over the years you you don't get that in a week it's it's impossible <laughs> oh 92 sleep eat breathe and drink alcohol i like that why did the night go back i'm not sure uh I don't understand it. So let's go here now. That there's no 92. And then I'm gonna go with the other rook this way. Because I have the feeling that the C file might get open, especially now that there's no knight C6. Ah, but this E takes D. Is he trying to prepare this? Knight G4 maybe? <laughs> Heroing and LSD. Yeah, the problem with drugs is they don't. There's no known drug that could really help with chess. It's very hard for a drug to to have a decent effect uh, for like five hours of play and keep at the same time keep the focus and attention and uh be calm no i don't think there's a drug for that hmm. b7 pawn is hanging and if i take it then i take on c6 he takes on c4 I have queen c7 there's no rook b8 what am i thinking what's the point of starting with this grunfeld defense just learning So you know some 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 drugs for for chess, super. Adderall, Adderall, Adderall. I don't know what that what that is. I'm not an expert in drugs, but I'm an expert in grabbing materials. So I'm gonna take the rook, and he resigned because he knows I, I can win with an exchange up. Alternatively, he might not know me, and that's why he resigned. Okay, uh, I guess there's no time to get back in this tournament. 19 points, 23 is the third one. So I need like two wins in seven minutes. That ain't gonna happen. But why not just start normal? What's so special about this position? Uh, what is special is that it is the Grundfell line. <laughs> I mean, it's as special as any other. By doing it thematic, uh, I play like I get to play like uh, eleven. So I get to play like twelve games in a row with the same opening. So I can practice the the ideas of this opening. And by the end of the tournament, I hope to have learned a thing or two about this opening.
amphetamine. Yeah, amphetamines are uh, are used, I think, for these mental activities. Like, uh, I know people that use them for uh, studying in general. But I've never, I've never tried. Um, okay, again, it's my turn. So uh, let's let's go back to this line. Yeah, I, I, I understand C6. I think I would probably play C6 on a classical chess game. But I like to, go to, to get back to this idea. I think I, I felt it, it was a little bit more tactical. And um, that I like. I'm seeing a new idea here that I didn't try before. Yeah, probably that's bad. <laughs> so let's change my mind. Aren't they making focus enhancers illegal in turnies? Uh, well, I guess they should be illegal. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that's a new thing now, but they, they must be illegal. Yeah, that's it. Violati Ch uh, I'm I'm also surprised if they're not. But in general, okay, always repeat. In general, I think um, it's hard to come up with, you know, with a drug that helps you that much for chess. So. So I don't expect huge improvements for people that use them. Yeah, Queen B5 is nasty because I don't know how am I gonna save my material now. Are you willing to trade rook plus bishop for queen? Well, it depends a lot on the position. I can tell you that. It depends it really depends a lot on the position. Huh. Need to come up with something. I guess I'm gonna just take the two pawns for the piece. What else? I probably don't even have time for this game to count for the tournament. Not even that. You have some comp here. Uh, I don't know. I don't believe in it. He's gonna castle, he has the two bishops. I don't have a pass pawn. Like, yeah. I have two pawns for the piece, but if I can take on C, if I take on C three, I have some structural compensation. But then I no longer have the bishop pair. Yeah, I don't know. I don't believe in this position for me. Ninety four already. Yeah, so probably taking on C three was better. Yeah. Okay. Let's get caffeine addicts out of chess. <laughs> well, I am. I am one.
Did you be free? Darn, what am I doing? Let's get Pepe out of chest. Yeah, probably that's that's even better. Given how I'm playing. I'm not sure if I want to trade my bishop. I feel like the bishop pair is really dangerous, but if I trade my bishop then <sighs> the bishop is going to be great. I need to find a trick, but I don't know where it is. Where is my trick? Yeah, the thing is the rook cannot be trapped as far as I can see. If a3, b3 hangs and if bishop d2 the rook has d4. So I don't see a way to trap my rook but can be I can be blundering. Uh, actually I'm trying to make c4 so that might blunder the rook. c4, bishop d2, yeah. Maybe a4 is better. Okay, the tournament is over now. So c4, bishop d2. It's not good. a4, a6. a4, takes. If bishop d2, rook d4. If bishop c3, bishop c3 makes more sense than going back, but if he goes back I'm gonna repeat because of course he has the material and I'm not scared of drawing against him. So if he repeats he's probably going to c3. So I probably go to e4 instead of d4. And then I enter d3 in the end of the line. Okay, again, I don't have a plan. Let's try a4. Which might be losing b6 in the, in the long run. So rook b1 trading the pawn for the b6 pawn and then c5 is gonna fall at some point. That's interesting because if I take on a2, how does he win my pawns? I guess he can anyway, so let's not do it. Ah, a4 I missed. Yeah. That was a bit of a gift. Come on, I can win this.
this is gonna be just a repetition king d7 king e7 because he's gonna go to f6 or that okay oh he didn't take it uh, okay let's defend it rook c6 check rook b6 he had okay this is not the best endgame player that I've seen Let's not lose on time. Nice. Amazing. Four pawns up now. Okay. Well, not my best, not my best, um, eight plays out of 233 players, uh, congratulations to the winner, Amajak, I think he defeated me, Amajak, no, I defeated him, okay, ah, that game, yeah, an exchange up, uh, probably my best game of the tournament, um, Ah, the draw against Victor was also nice. Yeah, thank you, Vilatic. You know what? I think I'm gonna play a couple of games because I still have some water, so... <laughs> it was the game where I missed mating 15 and flag him. This? Did I flag him? Yes, I did. But I was winning anyway here. No, 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 this wasn't it. The, the game you, 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 you say is uh, bishop versus knight. It was bishop versus knight. It's a different uh, game. Beer? No, never. Never. This is, this is water, but a very tasty water. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a couple of games to to finish my my water um, let's say uh, let's play some chess 960 why not and um, this is a strong opponent um, control oh this is very fast time control, uh, 15 seconds plus 5. Okay, the increment is high, but <laughs> the starting time is low. Should be careful with that. Uh, I'm gonna bring the bishop by uh, h2. He played f6, probably good idea.
Somehow I want to castle short and I'm doing very strange things to, to make it happen. Yeah. This is not good. I have to go back, which is... I'm not gonna castle short now. So all, all, all my previous maneuvers are, are not good. Okay, that's a pawn for him. I guess I need to accept it. And I'm not going to cancel. Short at least. Oh, this is terrible. gonna play queen g4 what else ah queen g2 also is he gonna save h7 he has bishop b4 um, not sure if that's good or bad for him. <sighs> Probably good. I'm, I'm looking for my compensation. Where is my compensation? King B always played King B1. So it's two pawns. I'm <laughs> two pawns down. This is not good. Two pawns down is not good. E4 is a perfectly fine move. Yes. G6 I'm expecting to be the best move. It makes more a lot of sense because after this f4 there's bishop g7 or bishop g7 now first yeah makes a lot of sense. So I don't have any plans. always threaten something. Bishop f6 maybe? So I guess his idea is rook e2. But I, I'm gonna do it, I don't have... I mean I have to do it. Rook e2 I have king d1. Okay. Okay. Surviving for the moment. For the moment I'm surviving. Now what? The knight is going nowhere, but you know, knights are tricky. Can I trade rooks? Probably not a great idea. Knights are tricky, tricky, tricky. It's a terrible move. Gonna be a ping. K 
Okay, let's sacrifice. Okay, it's not a sacrifice, but let, let's allow bishop f4 trades and, and play that endgame up on down. He's not going for it, okay. That's good. I'm losing that endgame. But I'm also losing this endgame. <laughs> so. so let's try. Oh, I didn't expect that. Ah, that's not good. Again, that's strange. Bishop F4. Okay, always threaten the most advanced pawn. And now. <laughs> Now I'm just losing, and I have nothing. Oh, three than h3 makes more sense than taking on f5. Yeah, yeah. Now if he promotes, it, had he allowed me to promote, well, it doesn't matter. This is this is lost anyway. I'm too tired for this. Rook h8 was still tricky. I don't know. Okay, let's try to. to play a little bit different now. Symmetry. Okay. I could have taken the pawn h2 or not. Okay, not anymore. Oh, the time control. Wait, what?
So the most symmetrically boring <laughs> position. That's good for survival for purposes because he's strong. So. He has to be Chopin, though. Okay, no more symmetry, if possible. Almost there. I wanted to sacrifice on e2 and then knight f4. But it doesn't quite work. This, however, yes, no symmetry. Let's go. Put in pressure. Yeah, but not good. That's not good. My knights are terrible, they're doing nothing. No! I guess my king is not close enough to, to go here. Okay, thank you. I'm fighting for my life. Knight 
Nice. Still have problems here. Is this a draw already? Ah, that. <laughs> okay. What is he doing? <laughs> I think he's trying to lose. That was very weird. Yeah, I don't see anything here for any of us. It has to be a draw. Unless Hmm. Now I'm getting to win the pawn, I think, but but the moment he sacrifices on f5, it's already a draw. So yeah, he he has this to try to play for the win. But if he just takes here, it is a draw. So yeah, this is absolutely a draw. So he's trying this check, which is also good. And now we get to trade everything and there you go. It's a draw, but I'm a piece up, yeah. <laughs> wow, this this feels like <laughs> the same position. <laughs> it, it's very similar. The bishop was on f1 instead of h1, but for the rest... Knight c4, I guess I go c3, or... Huh. 
Okay. I do have some space. Oh, time. So neither of us is going to cancel short. And after f5, I play e5. And uh, if he has no threat, I'm gonna castle. Yeah, I also had some discoveries, but I didn't think about them. I can go here anyway. Maybe I can I can, I can get something working with the space. Is there a name for this starting position? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's a name for just 960 starting positions. There cannot be a name. There must not be. What am I doing here? I don't know. Let's not lose some time. Gonna take it. So this is a double attack. Let's see how does he defend. I don't see a good way. Okay. Okay. Actually, can I be a piece up? This is the easiest, right? If bishop takes d5, bishop d6 check, and if he takes the other, I have bishop takes c6. Okay, okay. Let's try not to blunder. I'm gonna go a4 now. I know this is crazy, but trades are good for me. Let's go. Let's go. Ale. Ale. Two different checkmates now. Good game, Luma. Okay, this is going to be the last one because I I run out of water and also I need to sleep. Yes, Martinals, it's freaking hot. Um. So how did I develop? Ah, yeah, he's grabbing a space the same way I did in the previous game. So let's play five. I cannot take with the queen as long as. Let's see. I need to do something. 36 Celsius uh, tomorrow. Oh, that's that's also hot. Here we are around that. But yesterday I was in Madrid, and Madrid is like 10 more grades than here. It was really hot yesterday. But yeah, here we are around 30, between 30 and 35. Not so hot as there, but almost. Okay, I can play this now because the queen is 
not defended on e2. And now, let's stay here, which is probably a bad move. Maybe I can get to castle short. That would be a novelty in these games between us. Uh -huh. Time. Time is always an issue here. Actually, I don't think I, I want to castle short, or or do I? Yeah, in the cities is is definitely worst. Okay, let's castle short. Let's let's be funny. Let's be fancy here. Uh huh, I understand. I do understand. But I can't do shit here. I think he should have taken on c7 instead of that. But okay. So far, so good. Uh, okay, that's not good. <laughs> it starts in one hour and a half. Oh no, that's Nakamura Huji fan, right? Oh no, I, I, I cannot do it. I need to sleep. That's a pity. Uh, yeah, against Huji Fan Hu. Um, I'll do it. I'll watch it tomorrow, I guess. Okay, this is drawish. I'm attacking the rook now. Okay. Yeah, I sing Ironian. Poor, poor Fabi, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I want that diagonal. Oh, 96 check. So the pawn on c7 can be defended with the queen. Okay, I, I I wasn't deciding between these two squares. Now this comes with a tempo, so let's do it. Um, what now? Let's go to the other. Yeah, ninety four. That sort of prevents ninety five. Sort of. Darn, I don't like this. Above 20 hundred, no, this is going to be the last game. I've already did the tournament uh, and I need to sleep. Now this is the last game. I've played three games with this guy, this is the fourth. Uh, it's enough. It's asking for he's asking for travel here, but I, I don't see a wing. Let's check him once. Maybe I'll just take the pawn and that's it. Mm. 
maybe I do just take the pawn and yeah c7 is too weak that endgame might I'm not a believer but okay let's do it the the h pawn will run I hope Fuji fan will be in trouble, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we all know that. Let's trade queens in a fancy way. So g 8 seems like a draw to me. g 8 seems like a draw. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Well, a draw at most, maybe I even lose. Shit. So I, I go for the draw, I repeat, I just repeat. So he repeats and I'm gonna repeat. I, I don't I'm not gonna trade nice because I think it's probably a draw, but I can even lose that, that endgame. So I'm I'm just repeating. So good games, Liuma. Uh thanks for the games. Um And thank you guys for for being there. Um, I'm gonna go sleep now because in eight hours from now, Quartillo is going to be here to work. <laughs> so see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good night. And uh, and hello, Martin. It was a long time no see. Maybe we can play tomorrow or other day. Bye-bye.